uh, let's move now to the next part, which is um, talking about some actual examples. Uh, the first thing is when you're building visualizations and dashboards, try to use what's considered easily understood visualization charts or types. Uh, many users out there, they're not very uh, data savvy, you know, business analyst savvy. So I always tell people how much, is gonna, how much time is going to take you to teach users how to read a scattered plot. Uh, many users just don't get it. So try to avoid, you know, visualizations that are hard to understand. Uh, these, in our experience, and also looking from some other, uh, many other people that are experts in the, in, the, in the field, these are some of the most popular data visualizations that are really easy to understand. Most people, when they look at these, uh, they'll have a good understanding of what it means, you know, bars, lines, areas, uh, put some labels properly, state indicators up, down, uh, tables, you know, some people are really against putting tables on reports and dashboards. Uh, sometimes I would tell them, you know, absolutely you have to because sometimes it's the right thing to include. Uh, maps, very popular for graphical representation. Uh, pie charts, many people uh, say don't use it at all. Uh, people use ch a pie chart, so, you know, if you're going to be using pie charts, uh, I'll talk a little bit about them throughout the presentation, but overall, uh, if you have up to a few data points, they can be very helpful. If you have a lot of data points, often they become useless. Uh, bullet charts, uh, great representations to show things like you know, uh, um, um, budgets and actuals. Um, uh, radio gadgets are not very good because they take too much space. So these are some of the uh, easily understood visualization types. 